All right, what's up, everybody? Mark here with Atlas Defense. Um, doing a little bit more in-depth look at the Citizens app along with a little walkthrough here. So after the app has been live for a little bit more than a week and a half now, um, kind of like what my hunch was telling me, this app requires a little bit of discernment and understanding of the fact that you're getting all the 911 calls assisted with, with AI, sure. But still, you're getting notifications of almost all the 911 calls that are happening within Minneapolis. So if you don't live in Minneapolis, you do not need this app. This app is specifically focusing only on the city of Minneapolis, none of the surrounding neighborhoods, none of the suburbs. Um, no other city in Minnesota is on this app other than the city of Minneapolis and St. Paul. So you get all the calls from the, what's going on in that in the area. Um, so if you work in the Twin Cities or if you live in the Twin Cities in the actual city of Minneapolis or St. Paul, then yes, this app is very relevant for you and for your safety. Uh, but also to the point of um, shared situation awareness and police accountability, which I'll get into a little later here. Um, a couple of things about the settings. I strongly advise that you not only make your profile private, but you also turn this toggle switch on to only get major alerts. Um, that way, the alerts that you get are more location-based, based on where you're at, and you're not getting inundated with everything that's going on. Um, I also recommend that you make your profile private because this is not necessarily a social networking app. This is more so, like I said, shared situation awareness app. Um, it just adds it just adds another layer of, layer of complexity if you start adding random people. So, I encourage people just to make their profile private. Um, notifications, as you can see, you'll get a running uh, list of all the events that are happening in your air area. And really the best use for this kind of app is before you step out of the office, before you get into the city, before you step out of the house, it's good just to give this app a little check to see like what's happened in the past hour or so in your area. Um, a little reminder about what these little dots mean. The white dots are events that happened more than two hours ago. Um, as you can see, anywhere from a day to a day and a half ago, they'll leave these notifications on, on the map. Um, the yellow events are ones that happened within the last hour, and the red events are uh, more directly threatening events that happened within the last hour or two. Uh, and what happens is that people like myself, when we get the notification, if I'm nearby, I'll start live streaming it. Um, within reason, you know, I've got a couple of parameters that I have to fulfill to make sure that I'm not putting myself in any kind of danger and the information that I'm sharing is actually useful information. Um, one of the things that I shot this after, or this morning actually was a uh, report of a individual with a long gun um, just a couple uh, blocks away yeah, from my office, yeah, five hours ago. Um, and the report was, yeah, man with a man with a long gun walking around 400 South Second Avenue. I went down there, and sure enough, you know, it's only a block away from the courthouse. There's usually a lot of police activity in the area as it is. So I was able to check out that report and show that there is nothing out of the ordinary. More likely than not, somebody just saw a, a uniformed or ununiformed police officer moving one of the rifles. So this app is good, like I said, with a little bit of discernment to make sure that you're not making anybody paranoid or scared of their surroundings. Um, if you are nearby some kind of event, be it police activity or suspicious activity that you can shoot from a safe distance, um, the little red plus button is the way that you can start live streaming. And I'm up here, I'm like 39 stories up actually at Capella Towers where my office is, uh, right across the street from the government center as you can see. But yeah, if you're a couple stories up, you might actually get a better view of what's going on. So there's no bad angle <laughs> as long as you can concisely show what's going on. And there you are. <laughs> and be able to narrate for about a minute or two about what's going on. So like I said, if for some reason you think that um, it's something that's worth doc documenting, um, the moderators will decide whether or not they're going to add it to the map. But like I said, this is a great app for police accountability, for situational awareness. As long as with, as with any other tool, you use some discernment, um, use a little bit of training, and just spend some time on the app to get used to how it all works. So that's how the Android version works. Um, I'll do another video on the Apple version next. Thanks, everybody. Be safe.